Uh, see, this plant, this is an, uh, just a uh, sack, wild, sto wild stock. Actually, come from the roots of the, the other crops. And I'm going to put an apricot on this one. So I will grab it. This is just a wild plum. And you see, because they're the same family, plum and apricot, they go well together. Or you can put a plum on the apricot. Uh, where it is? See, what happened? That's a, a wild stock, right? And uh, I want to uh, put apricot on that, so I'll have, I'll have a tree. We eventually produce apricots. I just got a, a, a branch, which is going to be pretty mature. You know, the, the, ten, you know, the new growth, they're not good. You see, this is the part where they are need. So I will chop there. And straight away, you got to take the leaves off straight away because whatever, otherwise they start to go dry. Now, with this, uh, if you do, sometimes if you don't graft straight away, you can wrap them in a bit of rag, put them in the fridge, be them wet them, last for a couple of weeks. You know, sometimes you get it from a friend or some whatever that you really like. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take some of this off of this too much uh, energy. And I mean, uh, all you need a little bit because I want the, the energy to go into the grafting. I want to graft this uh, because one day next year I will shift into the shadows and I want to try the espalier, you know, the first two down here, the first Y, and then over here the second Y. Because normally, if you do just up here, you can build this, they call a vase tree like the apricot, like a vase. Yeah, so, but I'm going to do two here and two there. Okay, so that's the, this, what you call this, what I call this, they call it tea bud. You cut it there and there, but that's your after. Okay. What you do, see, this is the high, that's what we call the high. So I put it, cut the down here, about 10, 15 centimeters down, in angle, yep, like that. And then I go the same length on this side, and you gotta go underneath the high. Like that. Okay. In my mouth, because we need the most. That's how you bear there. See so what you do, you put a cut like that. And then you go there and bear 40 mil or something. Now, see this knife's got the spade, a little tool on it back. That's what I open at the, the back. So you go here. Look at that. So you go run and open her up. Then you go this side. So one thing you got to make sure the high is got always up, up, not down. See, that's where the high is. See, the leaf was here. See, you can see it's up. But if you put them this way, it will grow down. Then woods. <laughs> okay, you open it up one side and put this one side first, then the other side, and you push, push it down with this, like that. See, into that, like that. You go. Now you gotta tie it up. The special type for grafting. Now I look at the thickness, so roughly I'm working out roughly what I need that much. When you do no no the other, you put this in the bottom like that, this one on his side, and this over the lap, see, it's already all the day. And every time you go around, you gotta make sure you pull the nice and tight. Now what See the high there? I don't like the cover up because I like it so that they can breed. Now see this side, now I got the other side and just on the top of it just missed with the high is like that. And and you keep going above at least 30 mil and then you come down. 
again he got a big every year the on the bottom of the side see that's open they can they can breed tied up no no the other he just go like that but I'm done.